All right, what's up, Team Road to Zion? We back. Another day in the life for the Midwest Mobile Mechanic Tour brought to you by Road to Zion's own finest. Hey, uh, today we're going to be disassembling the valve springs uh, from the cylinder head that we're working on on this Toyota. We're doing a full engine rebuild on, so I'm going to show you guys how to remove the valve springs. Um, um, you do normally have to use a specialty tool. But I want to show you guys how to do it without a specialty tool. So I will be using the uh, half inch extension and a 17 millimeter socket. Show you guys how to remove those. You will need the specialty tool though to install the valve springs once we uh, thoroughly clean the head and um, get ready to clean off the uh, valves itself from all the carbon buildup and debris and um, put them back into the head with the springs, well greased and everything, you will need the uh, tool to install. So I will be showing you guys the proper tool that you can use to take them apart and install them. But I wanted to show you guys a method how to um, disassemble them without having the proper tool and still be able to get the job done. And uh, if you don't want to buy the tool to install it, you can just go to uh, AutoZone or O'Reilly's, uh, Advanced Auto and Napa. Uh, they will offer loaner tools to you guys where you can just uh, pay for the tool and then upon return of the tool, they will give you full credit of the uh, dollar amount that you had to pay for it. Just letting you guys know. So uh, we're about to be uh, bringing you guys along and showing you how to do that right now. Uh, if you guys haven't already subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Do all the things that make the algorithms go crazy as, as far as like, comment, share with a friend. Let them know, hey, man, Road to Zion here. We bringing you guys good automotive, um, diesel, four-wheeler, ATVs, motorcycle, welding content, body and paint as well. So uh, go ahead and subscribe to the uh, Instagram at Road to Zion underscore design. If you like the merch, man, you want to support the channel, get hats, shirts, um, Hoodies, sweaters, license plate brackets, decals, stickers. Go ahead and um, look at us up on the internet at uh, road the number two zion.com. It's all one word. You will be able to uh, look at the merch and man make a purchase and support the channel so we can keep bringing you guys great content. Show you guys, man, how easy it is, man, to take your passion for automotive, diesels, paint and body, welding. Uh, ATVs, uh, motorcycles, marina engines, small engines, and you guys can utilize those skills, man, and produce a, a livelihood for yourselves and be able to do it out the comfort of your home until you're in a position to where you can expand and uh, get your dream shop. Hey, man, this road to Zion. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Zion, Zion, road to Zion, Zion, Zion. Road, Cars, trucks, SUVs, even diesel tags diesel Best tag. mechanic on the planet, ain't no need to scratch no Every issue with that like a line. Nah. Got a problem and D will find it Ooh. Pop the hood, we gon' get up inside it Fix it up, start it up and Alright, what's up T-Road Design, We back, Midwest Mobile Mechanic Tour Another day, another dollar We still working on that uh, Toyota engine uh, Finally getting caught up on everything So, I'm in the process of actually Tearing down the head so I can get ready to clean it as you can see, I already took out the uh, intake valves over here already. Took out the valves, the springs. It's eight valves because it's a four cylinder, so it's eight intake, eight exhaust. Uh, I'm about to walk you through how to actually separate the springs so that way you can actually remove them and take out the valves, man. Uh, you do. You can use a specialty tool. I have the specialty tool, but I know a lot of guys, man, uh, don't have the tool or can't afford the tool. So, you know, this channel is about showing you guys how to do things at home, outside, on the go, you know, with uh, as cheap a tools as possible, but doing quality work. Even though I use quality tools because I'm a professional, but I want to give you guys at home the DUIers. What the DIYers, the do-it-yourself guys, you know, uh, experience if you can't afford all the specialty tools. This is how you can improvise and make the job work. So, right here we have the uh, exhaust springs. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a socket 
that's about the same size as the locking washer at the top of the spring. Got a nice little extension. This is a dead blow hammer. So I'm going to put the socket over that washer. Hold it centerly. I'm going to give it a couple of taps on here like this. And then I'm going to give it one solid tap. That's going to de depress that spring enough to get... So I can take the washer out, put that washer over here, and then also I can get these, um, So these exhaust valves have caps on them, just like the intake valves. These caps right here are removed. So you want to make sure you keep up with the caps. And also, you want to have these two locking, the locking keys. They go right here. They actually go around the valve right here at the top. And that's what actually locks it in place. So once we depress the spring, those little locking valves, they move, fall in place so that way we can get the, uh, get the valve out and remove the springs. So right now I'm going to remove all of the caps to each of the valve and set them over here. I like to keep everything in order so that way it's easy to put it back together and inspect all my parts. <clears throat> so, I'm going to get the socket again real quick. Here go my extension. Here's my socket. Give it a one whack. Come on. As you can see, came up nice and easy that time. Huh. Kept both of the locking thrusts actually in place. That one came out. Spring over here. That one over there. Now you also want to make sure you have a magnet. So when these little locking things fall, you can actually just get the magnet, retract them, because you want to keep everything together. Those are critical for the reassembly, so you want to try not to lose them. Uh, on the reassembly, I will have to use my specialty tool. I haven't figured out a way to uh, reinstall the springs without using the tool, but I'm trying to think of a way. So that way I can show you guys the alternate technique if you do not have the installation tool once we... Uh, Go back with putting everything back together. So once I remove all the springs, I will lift up the cylinder head and uh, remove each exhaust valve so you guys can see those valves as well. And you can you can see all the uh, excess carbon carbon buildup as well. And uh, what you see here is me doing a mobile repair. Right now, I'm actually have the vehicle at the house that I'm staying at while I'm in the Midwest, and I'm able to do this repair in the garage. Uh, I would have been able to do it outside in front of their house, but in Chicago, or the Midwest, shall I say, um, you gotta park on the street, so 
gotta move the car constantly or you will get ticketed because of street sweeping. So therefore, I had to bring it to the garage and do it in the garage. But you can do this in your driveway if you had to. And as long as you have enough time to keep the vehicle down for at least a week. So that way you can take ample amount of time to actually thoroughly clean and inspect all the individual components before you actually go back together with the parts because you want to make sure you do a very good job on inspecting and cleaning all the engine components before you put it back together man because you don't want to have any major drivability issues because uh fail to do a thorough clean so right now we're getting ready to push all of the valves out as you can see just got two of them out so far you want to be careful when you're grabbing that cylinder head because the edges are very sharp and as you can see uh the reason for us pulling them out man is because we want to clean them very high carbon buildup, as you can see uh, not too bad on the back side. Like I said, these are the exhaust. But if you come over here, and you look at the intake side, you can see very bad carbon buildup. Very bad carbon buildup. So we're going to go through and thoroughly clean everything as well as the head and fully strip the head down. I'm also going to be uh, doing a video where we can take out the lifters. It's pretty just simple, just pulling them up like this. But... I'm going to go have my own video so I can show you guys how to do that more in depth and uh, how we get everything ready for cleaning. So that way we can go back on the reassembly. Like I said, man, y'all want to be careful dealing with this because it's got some very sharp edges. I almost nicked myself right there. I really should be doing this with gloves. So let me uh put my gloves on so I have an accident after cut my damn hand and knowing that it, I would, couldn't even be mad at my damn self. I got no better. So you know they just come directly out the bottom of the head like this. Push it down from the top and you can pull them out like that really nicely. Uh, I got, got the studs of the bolts holding me in place right here. All right, so that's removal of the valve springs and the exhaust valves. We also did the intake valves earlier and the uh, intake valve springs. It's the same procedure. Like I said, guys, if you don't have a specialty tool, you can just use a socket that's big enough as the top locking washer as well as an extension. I would prefer a dead blow hammer over a metal hammer so that way you don't do too much damage to the aluminum. Pretty simple, man. Hey, man, many hands make light work. Make sure you guys go ahead and uh, get some merch at RoadToZion.com. Support the channel so that way we can bring you guys more content, more builds. Uh, also, stay tuned for the, the new things I'm bringing to the channel as far as uh, tool time, tools. What is it? Uh, it's Whip It Wednesday. Fab Friday and Tool Time Tuesday. So stay tuned for those things, man. Uh, follow us on Instagram at Road to Zion underscore design on Instagram. Like I said, guys, many hair make my work. And I'll go to the king. Y'all know how we do it.